Ashley here with hearthookhome.com and today we are going to learn how to crochet these spike stitches. These spike stitches are ones that I use specifically in the Painted Canyon cardigan. These spike st stitches are a little different than you'll see normal spike stitches made because I use a half double crochet to make them instead of the single crochet that is traditionally used for spike stitches. That being said, the process is the same except for that initial yarn over that you always see in half double crochet. So we're going to work some of these up together. I love how the colors make each other go down into the color below it and it really gives it that pop effect that has that great visual appeal, gives something nice to look at and it just looks great. So I've gone ahead and finished my row using the yarn color that I have here. This is the hummus colorway. And I am going to switch to the blue again. And I'm going to do my spike stitches. As I said earlier, this pertains specifically to the Painted Canyon cardigan crochet pattern that I have. It is one of my most popular designs. And in the pictures, I do have these spike stitches. So that is actually what I am making in this um, video today is a Painted Canyon cardigan. So I've gone ahead and clipped my yarn at the end of my row and I am ready to go over using the blue that I've got here, this greenish blue. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up my last stitch. I've gone ahead and started my half double crochet here. I'm going to finish the half double crochet with my new yarn color. So I'm just adding that new yarn color to the mix. I'm going to go ahead and tie a small little knot here. So now that I have attached with my new yarn color, I am ready to chain one and turn so that I am looking at the other side. First I'm going to place my first half double crochet right here as a normal half double crochet stitch. Just like that. Now I'm going to place my first spike stitch of the row and traditionally speaking spike stitches are made using a single crochet so you would just go into a stitch one row below, two rows below, however far down you want to make this spike stitch and you would pull up just a single crochet like this to where it's still a single crochet but it's going way down here into the stitch two rows below it, right? So now, since I'm using the half double crochet for my Painted Canyon, I am going to yarn over and I'm going to insert my hook instead of in these two loops here where I normally would to make a regular half double crochet, I'm going to go into this row below it. So where this stitch is here, this is the top of that stitch that I went into. I'm going to pull up a loop in that one, just as I normally would if I was making a half double crochet. And now I've got all of my loops on my hook. I'm going to yarn over and I'm all just going to finish that half double crochet. And now I'm going to do a regular half double crochet in the next stitch. And now I'm going to make a spike half double crochet in this stitch right here. So since I skipped this one, because I put a regular half double crochet in the top of that one, this one is the next one that I'm going to go into right here. So I'm going to yarn over, and remember traditional spike stitches are only single crochets, they're not half doubles. So this is only as it pertains to the Painted Canyon cardigan, unless you want to make half doubles, which is totally fine. You can do whatever you like. So I'm just going to complete that half double crochet. Now I'm going to place a regular half double crochet in the top of the next. Now I'm going to place a spike half double crochet in this hole right here. I have noticed that it helps if you keep um, if you keep your loops the same height if you possibly can when you go when you do this yarn over here when you do this yarn over and you go all the way down here you want to let this working yarn back here kind of looser than normal because you want to be able to pull it up as tall as it needs to be in order to really look like that spike stitch. If you pull it really tight, it's just going to pull this up and it's going to be really puckery and it's going to look kind of weird. So do not pull that too tight when you go to make this half double crochet or that spike stitch. I'm going to place a regular half double in this one. And then the next one I'm going to go down into this one here. Make sure I've got plenty of leverage here when I go to pull up this loop and then complete the stitch. 
Now, if you're making traditional uh, spike stitches using the single crochet, you can make them go into this one, and then the next one could go down here, and then the next one could go down here, and then back up the opposite direction so that you've got this nice triangle effect that goes down with varying heights of spike stitches. You can make them go down as far as you want them to go down. So for my purpose for this painted canyon cardigan, I just like it to have enough of a little bit of a jut down into the row below it so that you can see that these colors are mixing nicely. I just think it gives it a really nice vibe to it. So that is all there is to making the spike stitches on the Painted Canyon cardigan. I hope that this tutorial helped you learn how to make spike stitches and to do them of varying lengths as deep as you want to go into those spikes. I look forward to creating more with you soon. Thank you for watching.